Will Packer sat down with my husband and I, Shannon. Every other word out of his mouth was queen. You are queen and the queen and the yeah. queen and the queen. And we just want you to do a cameo. And here's what we're going to pay you. My husband said, Will, that does not cover Monique doing promotions. That covers none of that, brother. Right. This is just for the cameo, right. okay? Yeah. The director was David Talbert. My husband and David Talbert were college roommates. They, they were across the hall from one another. Right. In the script, I was that quick because it's a cameo. Right. Okay? Yeah. So 99% of the things you heard Aunt May say, it was Monique. It was me at living. Ad, yeah. Okay? Because it's a cameo. Right. When we had a meeting with Will Packer, Will Packer says, if you do this for me, I'll give you a three-picture deal and a sitcom. Now, we have all of this in writing. It's all in writing. What were you? What were you? What were you? What were you needing to do? A press? You're going to need to do press for it. You're going to need to promote it, or just ju just do the cameo. Just do the cameo. Okay. That is what was agreed upon. We okay. were going to do a cameo for the amount of money that he said they were going to pay. No problem. Well, what they did was they kept spreading it out. They kept spreading this character out. We want you in this scene, and that scene, and this scene. But there ain't no cameo. Cameo is a okay. Okay. Go. David Talbot is our friend. Is our friend. We don't want to make this bad for David Tauber. So we said, okay, no problem. Now let's talk about the treatment. While we're on that set of Almost Christmas, there were a few things that was happening that I took issue with. Will Packer is a producer. He came on that set and tried to give us a direction while the director was standing right there. I said, Will Packer, I will not allow you to do that. You would never do that to Steven Spielberg. You would never do that to a white director. You as a producer going to just walk in and give a direction. So I will not take direction from you. If you have something you want to give to me, you give it to the director. And you have the director to give it to me. You are disrespectful to him. Now, I had a meeting in David Talbert's trailer with Will Packer, David Talbert, and the first AD because they were being disrespectful to this black man. Mm. And I was not going to allow that to happen. Okay. I had a conversation with the first AD and I pulled him outside. I said, listen, brother, when it's your turn, I won't let nobody do it to you. But what I'm not going to do is stand by and watch you give a direction after the director gives us a direction. It confuses the cast and and it's disrespectful. And to that black man's credit, his eyes filled up with water. And he said, I appreciate you for having this conversation with me. OK, mm -hmm. so Will Pack and I are now at odds because I'm seeing how this brother's acting. I'm in my trailer. My assistant at the time, her name was Robin. Right. Mm -hmm. Robin is in her 50s. Mm -hmm. She's in my trailer with her shoes off. She's on the computer. Will Packer's friend or I'm not sure what title to give her. OK, mm -hmm. she comes into the trailer. Now, in this trailer, it is me, my hairstylist, makeup artist and my assistant. Mm -hmm. This young lady who we're all old enough to be her mother. Mm -hmm. She comes and looks at my assistant and said, what's your shoes doing off? You in your trailer. Why do you care? I said, excuse me. You're out of order. You don't come in here questioning Nobody in my trailer. As a matter of fact, and her energy was not that of, I'm playing. It was, what you, I said, as a matter of fact, I need you to go get Will. Because I'm not even going to have this conversation with you. I'm going to talk to your boss. When Will Packer comes into that trailer for us to talk, do you know what that man says to me and my hairstylist and my makeup artist and my assistant? I am the head nigga in charge. Everything stops with me. I said, well, I want to let you notice, Will, you're going to hear that you're the head nigga in charge from me as many times as I can tell people that's what you said. I said, and furthermore, you need to check your assistant because this is my space. We weren't in your trailer with our shoes off. We're in my space with our shoes off. But why would he come? Why would he come to you with that type of energy? What what led what led him to say that when all you ask his assistant to do was to go get him because she's questioning why That's people in your trailer have the truth. That's a good one because what I said to him was who do we need to talk to? This young lady can't be up in here like that. And that's when he became the head nigga in charge. Oh. And then I said, who are you the head nigga in charge of? We have Danny Glover on this set. We have a legend and an icon. Are you the head nigga in charge of him? Are you the head nigga in charge of Kimberly Elise? Are you the head nigga in charge of Gabrielle Union? Are you the head nigga in charge of J.B. Smooth? Who are you the head nigga in charge of? So he tried to laugh it and joke it. I said, uh-uh. I don't play that way, brother. 
I said, the food is bad. Like, what we doing here? The food was slop. So when they say they didn't have any food, mm -hmm. the food we had, nobody ever ate that food because it was just like you can feed them anything. Mm -hmm. Now, here's where it gets even better. Remember how Taraji said the trailers were infested? Yes. Our trailers blew up. Wow. They blew up. Now, what I, whenever this airs, I'm going to post the trailers blowing up so the people can see. Right. But they blew up. And if any of us were in those trailers, we would have been gone. Right. The trailers blew up. Now, when I was smelling the gas, we went to the brothers that was hooking up the trailers and we said, hey, we smell gas. Mm -hmm. They said, Mo, we let him know, talking about the head nigga in charge, we let him know. He just said, okay, and walked away. <coughs> I said, he what? He just said, okay, and walked away. The trailers blew up. Did Will Packer reach out to anybody? I can't say he didn't reach out to me and say, hey, is everything okay? Did you lose anything in the, in the, is everything good? The only thing they wanted to know from me was, where was Aunt May's wigs? Huh? Where are those wigs? Nobody asked, not the studio, not Will Packer, not nobody. Wow. Said, are you good? Did you lose anything? Right. I said the wigs blew up in the explosion. Right. So to understand what we have to deal with and to understand most people are too afraid to say it out loud that we are being mistreated. This is this is this is not right. Right. So if that means y'all won't want to play with me, I don't want to play with you either. Let's be clear. I don't want to play with somebody that don't care if I've blown up. What if we were in those trailers? What do y'all say to my family? What do you say? So with Precious, I owed no one anything. Right. With Almost Christmas, I owed you nothing. However, I did it because we had a relationship with a brother named David Tauber. Right. And we didn't want to send him through no drama, no nothing. So we went along with it. Other than that, Shannon Sharp, there is no one that can.